All right, here we go. Uh, part two. Um, hopefully this will be another lot of uh, 50 cards. Um, yeah. Of course, if you didn't watch part one, I would suggest uh, go to uh, go to the, let's see front, back, front, back. This is back. Okay. Yeah, this will be 50 again. Um, yeah, go and check out part one. A lot of good cards. A lot of just great um, grades on them. Uh, a ton of nines and nine fives. Um, few tens. Uh, overall, man, it was you know there wasn't too many like really bad or questionable uh, grades. You know, overall, it was uh, pretty pretty satisfied with the first fifty, and uh, hopefully uh, this next fifty kind of goes around the same way. Uh, but yeah, let's get to it. First car is uh, Harvey Elliott from Liverpool. 9-5. Okay. Again. Staying right on cue, man, with 9-5s across the board almost. Uh, a lot of them uh, in the last, uh, last video. But, yeah, great up-and-coming. Uh, this is a rookie card. Um, bright future ahead of him. Um, yeah. You can make that eleven as a youngster, man. Uh, you you've got to be uh, you got to be pretty special, you know. You got to uh, <clears throat> you got to be able to prove yourself on that type of high level and, and play almost regularly too. Um, but obviously injuries uh, hampered him. But uh, yeah, bright future ahead of him. All right, uh, let's see. Carl Saka, this is my boy from Arsenal. Uh, you know, he's already established himself as one of the best um, youngsters in the Premier League. Uh, 21, I believe. Um, 9.5, nice. Uh, this will be for my PC. Probably won't be selling it. I think I have multiple, so I, maybe I might sell one of them. And, you know, obviously I'm going to hold at least one of them back. I'll probably hold whatever the best one uh, is probably back. And maybe sell the other one. But happy with that. Another 9.5, another nine baby. It's going to be uh, probably the, uh, you know, the title of uh, the entire uh, reveal, probably. Here's another sack. Okay, nine. So, probably sell this one off, maybe. Um, very um, wanted uh, card and player. He'll be uh, definitely be playing in the World Cup uh, for England uh, come, what is it, November. So, nine on that. Happy, happy, happy. Christian Pulisic, he will also be playing in the World Cup, obviously for the United States. Wow, seven. Was uh, oh, the damage right there? The, f the hell's going on right there? I'm going to have to go back to that video because I posted a video of uh, kind of preparing for the World Cup and some of the cards that I was posting. I'm going to have to go and look, see if that was damaged prior. Because um, if it wasn't, then I'm going to have to send this back to them. Um, and then it would obviously be on, on them, possibly. Um, there's another one. Eight again. Another eight. Jesus. Same thing, man. What the fuck? That same that same corner. I'm really I have to go back to that video. If those if those corners aren't like that, then uh, you know, I mean I have proof of that as well. Um man, that's not good. Okay, Ram uh Ramsdale, it's a white, yeah. Nice nine five on this. White prism, they actually go for uh, a nice amount as well. Um, even raw, um, they can they sold as high as like twenty dollars raw, and then as low as I think it's like five. Um, but uh, yeah, it'll be kind of interesting of uh, who's going to be um, in net for England come uh, World Cup uh, because he's going to be probably one of the top dogs. For sure. 
you know, coming to Arsenal, he kind of like almost like reinvite um, his career. Oh, Ted, nice, very nice. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking, getting some tans on on board here early. Beautiful. Probably sell that one for sure. Maybe keep this one for the uh, PC. Nice. I like that. I, I like that too. It has a nice uh, where where everything else is, you know, silver or you know, as a any type of prism. This is just kind of like a, a a basic white, but simple. It's it's nice. It really pops with the red, red and black on top of that. Another one, nine five. Okay, all of them very well. One question I might have uh, for for you guys: um, What is the best set that you've had graded? Where, um, where, 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 what were the best cards in terms of a set uh, that you had graded? And um, it was just like nine fives, nines, tens, like nonstop. You know, what were those? Uh, what were those uh, cards? I'd like to know some of people' answers. Of been in the hobby for. A long time, um, you know, it could be a set from 10 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me know in the comics. Uh, here's an orange. This is to 25, I believe. Jamal Lewis. Um, got nice coloring on there. Um, no, it probably doesn't go for much, but obviously getting it slabbed for $12. Um, nine five on top of that. I mean, I'd be imagine I could get something out of it. Like, like I said, a lot of these sets that are like newer, um, a lot of these cards haven't been getting slabbed because of you know the price differences, um, and so there's not really a, a price guide for them. So it's kind of almost like you're making your own prices up as, as you go. You know, uh, here's a Nathaniel Collins. It's a purple to 99, 36. Got a 99. Okay. Anytime you have those numbers, man, it's like, ugh. You want that 10, but, at, at, you know, at minimum, you know, it's like, man, got to get at least a 9 for it to, uh, you know, hopefully sell pretty easily. Another, uh, obviously, rookie card plays. Uh, man, Burnley one might. I think they are already going down, I think, I believe. So, um, so who knows what's going to happen to him. Uh, Jaden Sancho, this is, I believe, a silver. Yeah. 9-5, very, very nice. He will also be playing in the World Cup for England. Got a nice young, uh, a lot of nice up-and-coming youngsters coming through England uh, that can really, um, you know, obviously they made the final for uh, Euros. Um, you know, get right the right type of confidence, the right type of uh, group of players to play with each other. Um, man. Who knows what they can do? Now, that's nice. I love that. Always love the silvers, man. Silvers are some of my favorites. Uh, this is to one ninety nine, so this is a red. Um, obviously not a color match, but Mason Mount, another player who will be playing in the World Cup coming uh, November at the, at the start. I believe Black Friday is the uh, first game versus uh, it's United States versus uh, England. So. Man, that's going to be a huge game, man. That's on Black Friday on top of that. That's huge. 9-5 again. Man, can't break away to just that little bit of, uh, to get over to that hump and get that 5 or get that 10, you know? Maybe a little little pinch down there, maybe. Let's see what else. Potential. Maybe a scratch or so, or that's just on a, that's just casing right there. Maybe that edging right there, maybe. A little bit, maybe, eh, maybe a little bit off center, tight, just a touch. Splitting hairs. Cristiano Ronaldo this is probably a base, I imagine. Wow, six point five. Okay, I don't maybe down there, but so I have to check these, man. Like I don't remember any of this. Like any sort of this damage being on these cards prior to sending them. So well, I'm going to have to go back and really watch that video. And I got these to point out. These three, obviously. I'm going to put these all together, actually. And I need to uh, 
find it there. Make a, a doo -doo 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 -doo. Make, a, make a quick note here. Because if they're not damaged in the video, then I'm going to have to send those to, uh, send them back to CSG. And they're responsible then for uh, potential card damage. Uh, but I'm not going to put it on them yet. I'm going to go back and watch the video first and then make sure. Um, uh, World Cup video. So I'm going to have to do that. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry about the, the little bit of delay here, but I just want to make sure I get this. Um, and I remember this because I got so much shit laying around, man. Um, that, um, probably just put this shit over here. So they're uh, kind of worthless. Um, yeah, get this back on order. Okay, A5, okay. Going back. Back on cube, basically, okay. Uh, base, 8.5. For Ronaldo. Uh, yeah, definitely off-centered, you can tell. From uh, left to right, for sure. So that's probably what, why it got bombed. Other than that, you know, it looks fine. Uh, no, no type of, uh, like you saw with the other two, uh, three... Uh, cards so it looks like the foil or something from the corners and stuff were coming up from the cards so but this is just a centering issue for sure but still will sell very easily uh here's another one another a5 again uh let's see man they man the paper oh man the paper shreds that come out of this is crazy um yeah definitely another left to right Probably top to bottom too. That looks like uh, the spacing on that maybe a little bit too. You're looking at it. Definitely, yeah, definitely centering issue. Uh, looking at corners and stuff, making sure. Yeah, that's fine. No, like no type of damage on those. So moving forward, uh, Trent Alexander Arnold, right back. Uh, this is silver and eight. Now I'm gonna have to now I have to really like inspect these cars now to this one looks fine though. But other than that, uh guess this must be a centering issue. This look this looks smaller than this side, obviously. Yeah. Nine or an eight. Cha 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 cha. Yeah, I always hate those sideways, man. I've been uh Trying to buy cards and, uh, man, some of the rookie cards of the, okay, 9-5, which is, uh, yeah, this is a Red Mojo for Anthony Martial. 105 out of 159, back on the 9-5 uh, train. Getting sidetracked a little bit. Um, of uh, Jordan Alvarez. Um, he has some cards that are, um, sideways and I just I, I really don't like them <laughs> even when they're slabbed up too I really I really don't like them at all um, yeah there's they need to really uh, I, I know HG HGA is doing them now for sure um, where they have a sideways slab now um, and I'm, I'm hoping that you know CSG like looks at that and, and, and does something to uh, do it as well because I, I don't like that. <laughs> I do not. I'll, I'll be happy to uh, get rid of that. And this is a, uh, a bombing game. Uh, this is a multicolor. It's a, like a rainbow card. I already, I already posted this. I already know it's a 10. But awesome card, man. Like look at, This is a, just an awesome card. When I looked this up online when I first bought it, I only bought it for $20. And... Um, at uh, a local card shop um, called Top Shelf in Elgin. Um, when I got back, because I couldn't find really any uh, uh, any kind of price on it, but when I came, when I did get back, there is one price on eBay, and then there's one price on on uh, 
Amazon, and it was going for 80 bucks a piece. So if that holds to be true and those were ungraded, and this is a 10, I mean, this might be like a couple hundred dollar card. Um, obviously, it's not numbered, but it's a, it is a uh, specialty. Uh, short print is a choice, obviously, too. So, um, yeah, love it. 10, 10, 10, baby. So she was still with the team somehow, some way, but, you know, unfortunately, um, things could not work out. Um, he's, he's doing great with Barcelona now. He's, I think he scored more goals than, um, than most of the players on the team that's been playing all year. It's been, wow, kind of sad. But uh, here is Cristiano, another base. Uh, there's a little thumb mark. I knew this was going to get a bad one. There's a thumb mark right there. I knew that was there. Uh, going into it. But there's a base. Still a sell. I, I think I might even just hold on to this one. Because I don't know if I'll... Uh, this is from the Euro, so there's a little leeway there for in terms of uh, time. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to uh, hold on to that for a PC. Or this, this one I was really disappointed in. Um, 8.5. It's got to be a centering issue. Obviously, it seems like with all the 8.5s, it is a centering issue. Um, really happy when I pulled the card. Um, just because you pull in anything with uh, Mbappe, it's, you know, it kind of almost kind of like turns into gold a little bit. Um, might be staying with PSG, which I, I can't see him doing, man. I, I if he's on a free, I mean, he's got to be going to Real Madrid because if Holland's going to uh, Man City, uh, you know, he's got to be going to Real Madrid uh, over the summer. He has to be. Because I think he does. He definitely t wants to get away too from, uh, especially, you know, sharing the spotlight with uh, Neymar and, um, you know, and Messi. Um, you know, he, he wants to have his own, you know, shining light, you know. Don't blame him. And plus, he's going to, you know, a great uh, team, a football club like Real Madrid. So, 9-5, Moises Keane, okay. <clears throat> Definitely a young up-and-comer as well. Another, of course, it's not his rookie card, unfortunately, but 9-5, just love the, man, love the silvers. Love all the silvers, man. Just the, just the straight silvers, man. They're so, man, the look of it is just, man. Part one, you saw the uh, Dak Prescott. Whew. Man, did that thing shine. Whew. That thing just... I sat there looking at it when I listed it on eBay, man. I, I, had, I got the, pic, the picture perfect. And it was just like, oh my. I just sat there and looked at it for uh, a good five minutes because it looks so damn good. Gareth Bale has a chance to go to the World Cup. Uh, they still have a pl like a play-in game, a uh, playoff game to, to try to get there. So, But nine minutes... Uh, Red color match of Wales, so um, you know. Hopefully, that it's not numbered. Obviously, with Mosaic, they don't have a ton of numbered cards. They really need to change that to make the set a little bit more uh, intriguing uh, to uh, to the hobbyists out there. But I like that nine. All right, so what we got next here? We got uh, Yao Felix. Portugal, young, uh, current striker for uh, Atletico Madrid. Again, silver, just beautiful, man. He really needs to find his, you know, he really needs to find that sp uh, that spotlight he had when he was with Benfica, when he was just, man, 17 years old, I think, scoring goals for fun, man. Like, pff, you know, I know the Portugal Portuguese league isn't, uh, you know, it, it, you know, it's not La Liga, it's not Premier League, but. Um, uh, he's got the he he obviously has a talent he he's got it um obviously with the Atletico Madrid they they do a, run a different style of football obviously uh, they're more defensive heavy and and running on the counter attack and whatnot um but you know hopefully he can find his footy man and and, and really uh, shine again uh very soon because he's got the talent you know he, he definitely does but nine five beautiful. That 9-5 train is, is, is strong. Uh, Bakaro Saka in the England uh, jersey. Nine. Okay. Probably definitely sell this one. 
Um, you know, I only I only kind of care when he's in an Arsenal. I, obviously, I want him to do well while playing international football. But um, you know, if he's not wearing that that uh, um, if he's not wearing the uh, Arsenal shirt, I really don't <laughs> don't really care. Okay, we got. Uh, oh, here's a here's a different one. I gotta find the rest of these cards, man. But Chief J Schrombo, <laughs> WWF. This is old school, man. Thought it might get a better grade than this. Just the corner maybe there, a little corner there. Uh, centering looks pretty decent for this card. Um, kind of actually shocked by a 6'5". Um, looks fine in terms of um, surface. Yeah, there's a little dot there. But yeah. <laughs> It's crazy, man. Those cars, man. <laughs> Those cars, man. They they sell like hotcakes. Those wrestling cars. See, we got the uh, 1972-73 rebounding leaders, and yep, Will Chamberlain, seven. Dave Collins, Nate Thurman, some great names there. Obviously, uh, one of the goats, one of the Mount Rushmores, Will Chamberlain. While he was with the Lakers, seven near mint. Corners look great. Centering is in, centering is probably the issue. Obviously, left to right. Uh, back looks pretty good. Looks better than the front. But yeah, not bad. We'll sell. Okay, man, these man, the, <laughs> damn. Kazzy Russell, Michigan product, did better than his brother in in. Uh, NBA. Mark, that's Cassie. No, his brother can't be did brother. Did better. My bad. Nine, uh, seven, five. Nice for an older card. This is, yeah, 74, 75. Corner's a little rounded there. Uh, back. Looks like they got a... Yeah, they got a penny sleeve on this. Yeah, they got penny sleeve on this. Back corner there, too. Same corner. Yeah. It's a little rounded, a little edging there too as well, but not too bad. Seven five on that. Golden State Warriors. Of course, I don't know if they were called the San Francisco. Were they? No, the Golden State by that by that time. Okay, let's see. Going back to some uh, modern Tyrese Halliburton Prism nine five. Okay, like that. That nine five train boy. I'm strong with that. You can't touch me. <laughs> you cannot touch me. Love that though. Trying to find the imperfection that that does not give me the ten. That's always the. Uh, huh. It's like trying to find Waldo, you know. But sometimes it's easier to find fucking Waldo than the one little mark that they didn't uh, allow to get a ten. All right. On to the next one. We got another Tyrese Halliburton. 9-5 again. Uh, what is this? Certified? Or Absolute? Absolute memorabilia. Okay, 9-5. Rookie card again. Hopefully uh, he finds uh, a nice home for uh, in, 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 uh, in the Pacers, Indiana. I think he can do very well there. Got a great coach and uh, you know Rick Carlisle. Um, hopefully they, they'll probably try to build the team around him. I would imagine. But nine five again. That stack is growing bigger and bigger, like last time. Walter Payton. This is oh yeah, this is a mosaic, huh? Nine five, beautiful. Okay, I'll take that. Nine five on that again, you know, cutting hairs in terms of what is it? Kind of might be something there. It looks like there's a little bit something there. Um, doesn't look like anything major, but just by just glance at it, it feels maybe the edging. It just doesn't look right. I think. <laughs> I don't know, it's like you got you got to really. I don't know. I guess look at it and be here. I guess to really see it. Nine five on that too. Uh, Tyrese Maxey, 
Obviously, they got bumped from uh, the playoffs, unfortunately. But, man, he uh, he showed himself, man. He showed uh, what uh, he can give Philadelphia in the future. Uh, you just give him the time and the minutes. Um, give him a little bit of uh, confidence. Um, he can really do something. He can really be a player for the future, for sure. 8-5, though. Uh, top to bottom, maybe. Left to right, eh. Because that looks fine on the back. Hmm. Yeah, the, a little bit. Yeah, there's a little dot there. Eight five on that. Haven't seen the eight eight stack in a while. James Wiseman, uh, rookie card for select a nine. Okay, happy with that. Got a little something there. Surface looks pretty decent. A little edging right there, you can tell. In that large pack of nine. We'd like a couple more tens though, man. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal, gotta be a, uh, is this rookie? Yeah, he's rookie from Fleer. Uh, he's got Fleer Ultra rookie too. There's a ton of rookies, nine mint. Looks pretty good. Looks, uh, yeah, it looks a little weird cut there. Or, or it's just the box itself. Looks, uh, got a little weirdness to it. Just by our eyes view, you can kind of tell the, uh, spacing a little bit um obviously top to bottom so left to right's pretty that's like cutting hairs a little bit uh, back looks pretty good obviously it looks like a fucking basketball which is pretty cool but uh yeah probably just that top to bottom other than that happy about that um i guess there's <laughs> you know we're there's a lot of uh different sets to where it's like Raiders will always give you a nine no matter what. But here is a, a same set. This is a, what is this? This, this got to be the, uh, it's just a slam dunk, maybe an all-star type of card. Eight, five. So this would be another, you know, an extra rookie inside of, uh, of all of his cards already. I know on the upper deck uh, set, he has like three different, Three or four different rookie cards in the same set. Um, I guess it's no different with this one as well, but A5. Come on, lock it. Lock it in. There you go. All right, let's go. Uh, Isaiah Thomas, 1990 Fleer. I got a nine on that one. Okay. Left to right, for sure. I mean, that's... See that automatically. Uh, man. Every damn card back needs to just do this, you know? Baseball, football, everything, man. Just go to... It's, this is how it should be, man. Instead of like that, you know? Like, let us flip it over like a normal fucking top to bottom. But yeah, nice nine on this. Going through his uh, shooting motion, the foul through. Nice. Nothing great. I think there's, uh, I think it's like a forty dollar card, forty fifty dollar card, because it's still a. Uh, that would be considered like his fourth year card. So obviously eighty six was the first. Uh, this is front and back, I guess, huh? A nine. Got Jordan there, so Jordan Barkley, uh, Scottie Pippen, uh, Bird, and Ewing on the front. And the back, uh, yeah, I got the rest of them with Stockton Malone, uh, Mullins, uh, David Robinson, and Magic Johnson. Mm. Who are we missing? Who are we missing? Uh, God, I know I'm obviously Leitner is missing, but who's the... Uh, God, now my... I'm, I'm, my brain is drawing up. Oh, Clyde Drexler. Yeah, that's what we're missing. Clyde the Glide. Missing on that picture. Maybe he's taking the picture. Okay, this is... Uh, okay, this is cool. 
Uh, Robert Ory pff, fucking broke so many hearts. Broke the Detroit Pistons heart. Um, shit, man. Pistons would have been back to back in uh won it, they won it in 04. They went back to the finals in 05. Game five, fucking man, fucking drained that fucking three and just psh, we won game six back in San Antonio. Would have been game match set. Fuck. This is a redemption set that uh, it was like one it was like one of the first type of uh sets that you saw back in the day of uh them trying to do something different. Um this is a set of I think ten cards. Obviously you see the eleven, but there's one card. I think it's Tom Gugliana. I don't know if he didn't have some type of uh um maybe not he didn't have a contract with hoops or maybe uh his agent wanted extra money, whatever, but this was a set that they a pack of cards that they sent. Uh, it was the first 11 players picked, uh, but it was 10. It goes up to 10. Um, the only one that you're not going to see in this is Shaquille O'Neal. I'm going to put this to the back to the side. Um, he's going to be in the next round of uh, of of grades. Uh, not in this one, but the next one. I've got 62 more cards being graded as we speak. Um I already had it graded for SGC and it was a 9.5. And so just to keep the, the set complete and it had be the same uh, grading company, I cracked it and hopefully, you know, it, man, if I come back with a 10 on that, uh, it was already 9.5 um, through uh, SGC and they're, you know, just as strict um, uh, of, of giving 10s. But if it gets a 10, the uh, Shaq card alone, I think is around 500. Um, and so the rest of these, uh, I mean, the set could be, uh, graded depending on all the rest of the grades. I'm just going to start pulling out. I'm just like Adam Keefe, um, rambling on about this, but you know, you get nine and above on, on every single card. Um, you know, you're looking at a set that could be worth, um, in upwards of like six to $700 to the right buyer, you know? Uh, Chris Witherspoon, Clarence Witherspoon. Yeah, that's right. Nine five. Okay. So two nine fives and a nine. Let's see who's next up. Uh, Todd Day. Milwaukee. Oh, there's a ten. Okay. So there is there is hope that uh, the Shaq card can get a ten. Arkansas. Okay. I was trying to. I can't. I couldn't remember where he played at. All four years at Arkansas. Those teams were tough back in the uh, like 90s, mid-90s. Nice, okay. Got 10 on that. That's looking good. So maybe another one or two 10s would be great for... Oh, here, there we go. Uh, Walt Williams, man. The Wizard. That's what the that's what his nickname was. <laughs> um, a decent and an okay career, but nothing to what he was in college. I mean, I think he got player of the year. Um, 25, 20, what is that? 20, 26.8 points per game. 29 games, uh, 47% from the field. Terrible free throw shooting. Uh, rebound, yeah, he was, he was like 6'9", I think. 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, um, yeah, rebound points. Jim at 10, beautiful, okay. Oh, here is Tom Gould. Yeah, who is he? Who is he missing then? Got a ten on him as well. So man, if that Shaq comes back ten, baby. Woo, we're looking good. And uh, you're looking at maybe a, hopefully like a six or seven hundred dollars set then, because people are if, actually even, you know, if you're looking into buying like a set, getting it graded. There's people who are actually selling the cards that are still sealed in the package that they came in. And um, Lafonso Ellis from Notre Dame, 9.5. Okay. Um, I'm almost thinking about fucking buying it. The guy was, uh, last time I saw it, and this is what sparked it, um, the guy was selling just a pack alone for like $200, ungraded. It was still in the pack. And then people who have obviously um, uh, broke the pack, like I did. Um, Christian Leitner. Oh, yeah, this is... Yeah, Dream Team, um, coming off a back-to-back -back, 
Um, so four, we're lo- we're missing four. I would have to look that up again. Who the who, who the fourth pick of the draft was? Christian Leitner, like play. Yeah, he was definitely I think the player uh, of of the year. Back to back NCAA champions. Uh, beat my Michigan team uh, in '92, I believe. Yeah, because uh, they beat what UNLV and then they beat Michigan uh, for back to back. A great team, Grant Hill, Bobby Hurley, Thomas Hill. Man, what a fucking beast of a team, man! That Duke team, probably one of the best Duke teams ever. But 9.5, awesome. Uh, man, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be looking out for that. Uh, There's Alonzo Mourning. Here's the last one. Ten, yes. Man, if that fucking Shaq comes back at ten, baby, whoo! That's gonna be a nice little set to have. Some history there. Obviously, Alonzo Mourning had a great career as well, Hall of Fame career. Um, Hornets, Heat, um, Georgetown even had a great career in Georgetown. Um, most notably for his defense, uh, undersized too, man. I think he was like only six nine, but he had a wingspan. I think of uh, like seven two. Uh, just, I mean, great player. He's, he could still score uh, in the pros and everything like that, but he was definitely uh, most notably for his defense. Uh, but, you know, he was like a he was like an 18 and 10 guy, you know. Uh, he was a double-double guy, you know. But that's awesome, man. 10 on that, too, as well. That's fucking great. Um, all right, Kate Cunningham. This is, I think this is a base. Yeah, two. Uh, there you go. 10 on this. Just a base of hoops. Plenty of tens in this one. Don't mind that, but uh, obviously this is that uh, the, NF, uh, the NBA redemption. That's what it's called. It's a draft redemption for uh, the 92-93 hoops. Um, yeah, whew. That's going to be a set. Franz Wagner, 9.5. Okay. Damn, man. I want that fucking 10, but this is a white. This is like the, the lowest of the bases. They have a red, a blue, they have a numbered blue, uh, but this is a base, so it's, it's still kind of like a color match for um, uh, the Orlando Magic, so obviously with the white with, uh, lettering, but 9.5, beautiful. They'll get uh, around like 100 I think I bought it, like $900 for that. Nice. Uh, Isaiah Thomas, 9. This is uh, Topps Gold. Center looks pretty good, huh? Maybe top to bottom? Or maybe left to right, maybe? For the back? That I didn't get a 10 for at least centering wise? Hmm. Oh well. BPC stuff, so uh um but still, this is, uh, you know, this is a big card right here. Uh, this is the Shaq number one. Uh, PSA 10 right now is up to like 2300 Fucking eight. Yeah, these get brutalized, man. Maybe some edging right there. It's, uh, you know, top to bottom. Looks like there's plenty of space down there before the knee or before the name. Maybe a little bit. There's a little bit of thing right there. A little speck. Um, of course, with a card with that, like that, black, complete, almost complete black. Um, top to bottom, I guess, right there. In terms of centering, still sell, but you know, it's uh, you know, the differential between a I do have a nine that's up on eBay right now. Um, like I said, a ten is around twenty three hundred. It can go as low as thirteen hundred, uh, and then a nine is just a uh, hundred dollars, and then the eight is around like fifty, man. So it it, it definitely gets uh, hit hard. Uh, Jordan, uh, at least one Jordan in every single uh, um, reveal here. Nine. This is. Uh, a slam dunk uh, competitor. Uh, there is a 
some guy on Reddit, man, had an old box of 92 upper deck. There's an air card for this card. Um, this is when he won it, 887 and 88. It shows it right on the top there. There's an air card that shows it being 85 and 88. Um, and that card is worth $1,000 uh, because it's an air card. And this guy had it. He had the... Uh, um, you saw my SGC video. He had the Agent 23s, which are about $600 a piece uh, for uh, PSA 10s. He had the Air card, which is $1,000. And then he had another card that was worth around like $500. It was like crazy that uh, he, he just had a box sitting around um, in a corner somewhere, I guess, as, as he said, uh, just sitting around and he finally just ripped it. And man, yeah, he ripped it into uh, something like brown, like, I think grand total if the, if he you know if it is tens um uh, the cards look pretty good too man uh you know he might have ripped uh about three thousand dollars worth of cards <laughs> which is crazy you know it's always kind of a good thing um good feeling when you have something like that but nine on that um again huge stack of nines this is huge uh this the, the draft redemption is oh my god how many tens did i get on this one two Three, four, uh, four, nothing lower than a nine. The rest were nine fives. One nine. Yeah, one nine. The rest were, oh, beautiful. This is good. Man, that Shaq, oh, please. Give me that Shaq 10. Give me that fucking Shaq 10. This would be, yeah, potentially like a seven, six to seven hundred dollar set. Um, again, huge stack of nines, just like, uh, the last break, uh, the last reveal as well. Um, very few cards um, to be unhappy about. Uh, I'm gonna have to check into those. Uh, obviously, the uh, the ones that were damaged. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to check on that video uh, to make sure. If it was me, then yeah, perfectly fine. No, no, I'm not gonna raise any hairs. But you know, if they uh, if they show that they weren't damaged prior to uh, sending them in, then I'm gonna have to you know contact uh, CSG. And see what they can do about it. They're probably just gonna, I guess, reimburse me for uh, what the cards are worth. Which, I mean, rather, I think uh, this is like a five dollar card. Ronaldo's five dollars, and I think Pulisic is around five to six um, each. So I mean, it's kind of like, meh. Um, but overall, uh, again, fucking really happy about uh, about the gradings, uh, about the grades. I mean, man, I'm. <laughs> I'm the fucking nine five master, right? But uh, you know, I, hey, I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, I'm really super happy about it. Again, um, yeah, we'll be doing the part three, which is about only about thirty six cards. We'll be doing those eh, probably in a, you know probably another few days. Uh, part three will come out, but uh, yeah, overall, just super happy. And yeah, everybody have a great day. Let me know what you guys think um, about some of these uh, grades. Uh, you know, do you you know. Do I deserve a couple more tens? You know, uh, so on and so forth. But um, yeah, overall, happy, happy, happy. And uh, everybody have a great day.